What's up, guys, and welcome to Family Worship, where we read, pray, and sing together as families. Before we get started today, we're actually going to exercise together as a family with my good friend, Tybo T. Vegas. Now, Tybo may have Guinness World Book of Records for longest diaper throw and longest plank held while changing a diaper, or he might not. But either way, he's really good at helping families exercise together. So I'm going to send it over to Tybo. Hi, my name is Tybo, and I'm here to give you the exercises from 90 seconds to glory. Are you ready to work the family quarantine exercise time with me? Let's go. Here we go. We're going to start right here, going back and forth. There we go. Everybody with me. Get up on your feet. Back and forth. Go into the Tybo. Tybo. Now wash your hands. Now wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Well, right, we're arms washed enough. And we're gonna get some noodles to work out these noodle arms. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, one, two. Stretch it out, mantis. Stretch it out, mantis. Stretch it out, mantis. Stretch it out, mantis. Helicopter. Helicopter and kick and kick and kick. One more kick. Woo! There we go. Back to Tybo. Tybo. Shabba. Shabba. Grab the toilet paper. Cause ain't no more. Grab the toilet paper. Cause ain't no more. And stay home. body in 90 seconds and we exercise the body now we're going to exercise the mind so grab a bible for your family have a seat and let's get started oh yeah look at the book of Galatians chapter 4 to see what is a child of God? What is a son or daughter of God? And there are three things that we're going to learn. One, a child of God is loved. Two, a child of God is known. And the last one is that a child of God is never alone. Let's read together. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts. So the first thing, a child of God is loved. Let's look back at the beginning of verse 4. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son. John 3.16 says that for God so loved the world. That's right. It was because of God's love for us that he sent his son into the world to save us. And I want you to hear that God loves you. He's made you very special with unique gifts and unique passions or things that you're excited about and unique friends and influence and family. And he made you that way so that you could be a part of his plan in a very special way. So the first thing is that God loves his child. The second thing, what else about a child of God is that he is known or she is known. Let's look again at verse 4. God sent forth his son, born of woman, born under the law. So Jesus was born just like you and I. He had a mom and he was born under the law. And so he knew what it's like for you and I to be annoyed or maybe to be angry sometimes or to be tired or bored or frustrated. He experienced all these same things. God knows what it's going on in the lives of his children. Not only does he understand, but he cares And he knows even how many hairs are on your head. So God loves his children, but God also knows his children. And the third thing is that a child of God is never alone. Let's keep reading again in verse 6. And because you are sons and daughters, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts. So we know when we receive this free gift of the gospel, 
that God promises to send his Holy Spirit to live inside of us. And that means that you and I will never be alone again. He will walk with us. And in Matthew 28, it says he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. We always have a friend in Jesus once we become one of his children. That's such good news. So the three things, we are loved, we are known, and we will never be alone. I actually want to help you remember this a little bit, so I'm going to bring a friend up here with me. All right, let's see if we can pull him in here. Okay, come on. This is my son, Levi, and he's going to help us sing a song with the three things. I'm loved, I'm known, I will never be alone. Here we go. I am going to turn it over to you. We're going to read Galatians 4, we're going to pray, and then we're going to sing one more song together as a family.
you guys for joining us for family worship today. And I hope you remember, wherever you are, you are sent. Thank you.